legit. They have a win over Michigan this year as well, facing USC today. For Kyle Whittingham, number three, they're ranked this week. 635, 6385. <laughs> You're watching the Maine Public Broadcasting Network, founded by the University of Maine System and Colby, Bates, and Bowdoin Colleges. Local support for this program is provided by MP... Provided by the Ford Foundation and the John D. and Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation. Good morning, Elizabeth. Extra point, Alex Wood is good. 35 to 17, the number three. Michelin Premier Tire, safe when new, safe when warm. Look at you. Pretty much no play, you know. It's, it was almost like not good in our family if you laughed or if you, you know, wanted to have a laugh. I'll fall right in love with the expression of Sark. Nikki, please. Okay. I had about an inch of ice on my windshield. Want to guess how long I sat in the QVC parking lot with my car running? From CBS News. Watch live anywhere, anytime. CBSN. CBS News. Always on. CBS 13 News is on your side at 11. A three and a half month old dies just after being hustled. Pleasant Pond, Richmond, in Sagadahawk County. My favorite county here in Maine to say. So some sunshine today, but now the clouds are really starting to thicken as a warm front and a cold front behind it start to move into the northeast and Portland and the Maine area. So right now staying dry, mostly cloudy. But the rain will be arriving overnight into early Sunday morning, so it won't be a bad idea to keep the umbrella nearby. Current temperatures are in the low 40s from a gust. to the city for permission to demolish the building, which is located at 235 Water Street. Life Flight of Maine held an open house today to announce the addition of a new airplane to its collection of emergency helicopters and ambulances. A fixed wing plane will help from Mexico, known as Rafael Resendez Ramirez. I was able to make a timeline. I am going to have that cigarette <laughs> if I have to light you up and smoke you first. <laughs>